Hello and welcome to Toasty Business. Elon Musk is a man that revolutionizes any industry he finds himself in. Tesla today has changed the way we look at the automobile industry with its array of electric cars. Similarly, SpaceX has disrupted the aerospace industry. While it might seem like SpaceX is relenting, the opposite is the case. With the company announcing the Starship, the race to be the best is about to be won by a very large margin. But what is the Starship and why is it so important to the industry? Why did SpaceX decide to build a stainless steel rocket ship? Well, make sure that you stay till the end of this video so that you can find out why the Starship is considered one of the best rockets ever made. The new Starship is making waves for a number of reasons, other than the fact that it is something from Elon Musk. However, what has been highly regarded as its best feature is its steel frame. To understand why this is remarkable, you should know that steel is many times heavier than aluminium, carbon fiber, and a number of other materials which are usually used in building rockets. While you might think that this does not really matter, it becomes extremely important when this rocket is trying to break through the atmosphere. Think about it for a second. Something heavier is supposed to have a harder time breaking through, right? Exactly why it is remarkable that Elon Musk has created an impressive rocket out of one of the most difficult materials. It becomes even more remarkable when you realize that one ounce of weight can be the reason why a rocket launch fails. Here's a quick fact. The WD-40 was initially invented to act as a spray for the Atlas missile. This was because water would form on the outside of the rocket and would further reduce the weight that would have been added by the paint of the missile. But if weight is so important, why did SpaceX not just use the normal material instead of using stainless steel? The answer is simple and quite predictable, because most corporate organizations always need to minimize cost and maximize profit. They always have to find the cheapest and most efficient alternatives for every item. And this is exactly what SpaceX did. The reason for this is price, according to Elon Musk. In a recent interview with Popular Mechanics, Elon Musk explains that the switch was motivated by the price of the various items. If they'd chosen carbon fiber, an alternative with less weight, they would have been paying $135 per kilo. At the end of the day, the company would still lose 35% of the total material through scrapping. Also, it is not every piece of the fabric that you will be able to use. So according to Elon Musk, when you do the math, you would have spent over $200 per kilogram for carbon fiber. Why spend all this money when you can get stainless steel for $3 per kilogram? The difference is astounding, right? Besides that, stainless steel comes with a number of advantages, and its most important factor is its high melting point. This means it has a stronger resistance to high temperatures. Its rugged ceramic tiles also allow for maximum heating areas. Stainless steel is also fully reusable, and it is also low maintenance. Most importantly, for a company like SpaceX, which survives on rapid productions, tight deadlines, stainless steel is a perfect choice because it supports rapid production and installation. Alternatively, with carbon fiber and aluminium, due to their reduced heat shield capabilities, you're limited to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Musk said that this figure sometimes does not even reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit at times. But if you really push it, these materials can reach 350 to 400 degrees. Also, there are some carbon fiber materials that will comfortably reach a degree of 400. The Starship has been created to be an interplanetary vehicle. That is a vehicle that can transport people from planet to planet. Now, this means that the Starship has to be different on a different scale. First of all, it has to cope with speeds of up to 13,000 miles per hour. It also has to reach a temperature of about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, this surpasses the maximum service temperature of both carbon fiber and aluminium. Now, it gets even more interesting here. Several rockets and items have made it into Mars' atmosphere, but none of these rockets were as heavy as the Starship. If the Starship successfully breaks into Mars, which will be a difficult task on its own, it will also not be an easy task slowing down. In order to make slowing down easy, the Starship has to maintain a certain heavy angle of entry into the atmosphere of Mars for a very long time. Also, because the Starship is made out of stainless steel, it's going to require a predominantly lower amount of heat shielding, because this has already been compensated for by the amount of heat created by the drag in the atmosphere. With this done, this saves a lot of weight and consequently saves money for the company. This means that with the Starship, SpaceX is creating an entirely new future for space and for interplanetary travel. Interestingly, the company Tesla announced in March 2020 that they will be using the same material used to make the Starship in making the Cybertruck, that is, stainless steel. Also, for the 100-passenger Starship, SpaceX is still committed to using the stainless steel 100%. When the Cybertruck was unveiled last year, Elon Musk revealed that the exoskeleton of the truck would be made out of ultra-hard 30 times cold-rolled stainless steel, structural steel. This will be similar to the material used to make the armor glass electric motor. 
Musk has also mentioned that the vehicle will be made out of the same material that was used to make the Starship rocket. Interestingly, Musk has added that he wants the Starship to launch at least three times per day. This number has the potential to be higher, however, it can't be because the ships have to be properly lined up for landing near the launch site, and this process could take as long as three or four orbits each time. The reason why the Starship is regarded as one of the best rockets ever made is quite simple. If the mission it sets out to achieve becomes a reality, it means that the Starship will be the first rocket to successfully take humans to Mars, a feat that has never been achieved by anyone else. This flight will take as many as 100 individuals on each flight. The production of the rocket is also quite impressive. Elon Musk says that he wants the new plant in Texas to produce at least one Starship every 72 hours. But if Musk really wants to achieve his goal of taking humans to Mars, he's gotta make sure that he can increase his number. However, if the company is able to make the Starship into a reusable rocket, this will solve a number of troubles. The Starship has been designed to launch after just one hour of landing, with zero nominal work. The Starship also has another fine example of cross-corporation collaboration, and this is the collaboration between SpaceX and Tesla. The companies have also announced that SpaceX will use some of the batteries of Tesla in its new rockets. The latest news on this shows that the company used four Tesla Model S battery packs together, and this means that the company will be able to reach an energy capacity of up to 400 kilowatt hours. This is just another example of the synergy that exists between both companies. The CEO, Elon Musk, has mentioned how difficult it is to run two companies at once, but this does not mean that he's distracted from his goal of creating magic with both. I'm sure you already know of how Tesla has revolutionized the automobile industry, and how SpaceX is turning the space industry around. They have made space travel cost-effective, something that NASA has failed to do in all these years. Naturally, space travel and exploration isn't cheap. Project Apollo, for instance, cost more than $25 billion to complete. In 2020, after adjusting for inflational rates, this will be worth $153 billion. Yes, you heard that right. However, with the improvements in technology and the advent of private space companies, it will take around $20 to $30 billion to complete a project like the Apollo project now, according to NASA. NASA has also announced that there will be partner projects with SpaceX in the future, a project that will take man to the moon. With the advent of private space companies, most of them have been able to do things that NASA was unable to do, the most impressive being SpaceX's recovery of three heavy rockets in a single mission. This means that a sizable portion of the investment can be recovered in future flights. Interestingly, the cost of traveling to Mars is plummeting, and this only brings closer the era of space tourism. By this time, you already know that NASA has opened up the International Space Station to tourists. Companies are already giving out rides to so-called private astronauts. In the nearest future, flight seats will be sold out to private individuals. SpaceX is already working with Axiom Space to sell seats on their SpaceX capsule which will be going to the International Space Station. Passengers who go on this flight will pay over $55 million and spend 10 days in space. If this is successful, it will be the first of its kind, and we expect that more companies will make theirs even faster. This is also a major shift for NASA, as they used to prohibit private astronauts from flying to the station in the past. To reach the station, private astronauts had to fly on Russian capsules before they could reach the station. If you have $55 million you wouldn't mind putting on a space ride, then this is the option for you. When this happens, NASA will get $35,000 for each night a tourist spends in the station. And this includes the cost of air, food, energy, data, and the use of the toilet. Aside the fact that SpaceX has established itself as a major force in the space industry, it will all change when the Starship finally flies into Mars and colonizes it, just like Elon Musk had predicted. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!